The Northrop XP-56 Black Bullet was an experimental American fighter interceptor prototype developed during World War II. Conceived in 1939 as the Northrop N-2B, the aircraft was designed under the United States Army Air Corps' R-40C specification, which encouraged radical designs promising superior speed, climb rate, and firepower. Engineers pursued a tailless configuration with a short, barrel-shaped fuselage, a forward cockpit, and contra-rotating pusher propellers powered by a liquid-cooled Pratt & Whitney X-1800 engine. This layout minimized aerodynamic drag and freed the nose for heavy armament, two 20mm cannons, and 4.50 cal machine guns. When Pratt & Whitney canceled the X-1800, the design switched to the R-2800 radial engine. Although more powerful, its larger diameter forced fuselage modifications, added nearly 2,000 pounds of weight, and reduced projected top speed. The XP-56's airframe and skin were built primarily from magnesium alloy to conserve aluminum for wartime needs. Welding magnesium posed challenges, leading Vladimir Pavleka and his team to develop the innovative heliarc welding technique using inert gas shielding. The first prototype, Serial 41786, rolled out in March 1943. Early taxi tests at Miroc Air Base revealed severe yaw instability, later traced to insufficient vertical stabilizer area. After modifications, including a larger dorsal fin, the XP-56 made its first flight on September 30, 1943. On October 8, during a high-speed ground run, a left tire failure caused a crash that destroyed the aircraft. Test pilot John Myers survived with minor injuries. The second prototype, Serial 4238353, incorporated revised ballast distribution, modified rudder controls, and redesigned Elevon actuators. Its maiden flight occurred on March 23, 1944, with pilot Harry Crosby. Despite handling improvements, the XP-56 remained underpowered, unstable, and fuel inefficient. By May, further test flights confirmed that the aircraft could not outperform operational fighters like the P-47 Thunderbolt. Planned NAE wind tunnel testing was delayed, and interest waned as jet propulsion advanced. Testing ended after 10 flights, and the project was formally canceled in 1946. The surviving XP-56 was stored at Muroc and later transferred to the Smithsonian Institution's National Air and Space Museum. It remains preserved today, representing one of Northrop's boldest aerodynamic experiments. The XP-56 showcased pioneering engineering, particularly in welding techniques and magnesium construction, though it never reached operational status.